my eyes are actually welling up. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to episode 22 of our Legend of Dragoon Blind Let's Play. I am Mr. Miles, and in the last episode, me, whoa, jeez, man, we did all of Fueno, which was a lot of fun. I think I missed some dust, though. Maybe if we get the opportunity, I'll go back and grab those. I think. I think we missed some dust. But uh, on top of that, uh, we fought a sea monster on top of Lennis, who was in a Dragoon form. The, 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 oh my gosh, the water, what, what was the name of the water Dragoon spirit that we picked up? Either way, Maru became the Dragoon spirit of that, or well, took on that Dragoon spirit. So now we failed, basically. We, we beat Lennis, but we failed to stop Lloyd. He still has the Moon Dagger. We're now going back to King Zior to tell him, hey, sorry, we failed. And then I, I then I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to go pursue Lloyd in Millie So, which should also open up more doors to the whole Shauna thing because of the whole Princess Luvia stuff. So let's do this. Let's do this. Before we do this, let's do our weekly edition check-in, right? Our weekly edition check-in. All right, so we, we, we've been using, oh my God, it's so, it's so bad. Six times, six times have I completed this. Actually, I might, I might give him the, the ultimate war god amulet just to, just to get through that. Um, oh, we forgot we have hard blade as well for her. We've got a few additions we can get through. Five ring shattering sounds like fun. We still have a couple to do for him. Almost done with Rod Typhoon, who he currently has the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the War God Amulet. We've got Double Smack is level three. Not bad. And Pursuit is doing okay as well. Level two, not bad. Not bad at all. So right now we've got Kongle in there. I, I kind of want to finish off one of his, his uh, oh my gosh, one of his, one of his additions. And we'll go from there. But yeah, I feel like I got to give him just for the time being, because we're really not. Oh, that means I have, do I have to, I'm pretty sure I have to take it off of, off of Albert here. Finish your sentences, Miles. We'll give him the power wrist. And we want to give him the ultimate war god amulet, wherever that is. Ultimate war god, just for the time being. All right, so we're going to have to run our, our asses all the way back to King Zior and Flets. I'm assuming we just keep running. That's pretty crazy. 60 points when you're able to complete that. Now, I'm assuming, I could be wrong, I'm assuming there's multiple war, uh, ultimate war gods out there that I could essentially equip a full party with them, right? Ooh, Rose leveled up. Congrats, Rose. We don't want you falling behind. I haven't done it in quite a while, but I think for the, f uh, I don't know, maybe the like the first 10 episodes, there were a couple times where I just sat there off, off camera and did some addition grinding. It could be fun. It could be fun. And then just so many games came out. So I've just been prior, you know, prioritizing uh, different games now instead of grinding out this stuff. Cause you know, I don't want to be, I don't want to be behind obviously. Oh man, we might actually jerk in with him. Uh, next, yes. next chance that I get. Chanced, chanced. Madness hero. So yeah, like we had Diablo four come out. 2023 so far has been crazy with games. We had Diablo 3 come out. We have had uh, Tears of the Kingdom, which I have to get back into at some point. Uh, you guys had mentioned there's a dust. Hold on. You guys had mentioned there's a dust in the hospital that I might have missed. As well as, I think we have to come back here anyway. But we also might go back to uh, Pete's house. But you said there's a dust in the hospital or the clinic. Oh, we should try this. We actually, I haven't seen her Dragoon form. Am I going to see? Shoot, 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 shoot. We have time. Oh, I want to see what her Dragoon spirit looks like or her Dragoon form. Cool. So cool. All right, what do we have for? Oh, she doesn't have any MP. Freezing ring. Water strength, 50% single. Oh, that sounds, that sounds like fun. I have to give her some. Ah. Oh, then the hammer glows. So obviously she's going to be more of a spell attacker. That wasn't the best. And I'm going to, he's, he's kind of feeling a little, a little down right now. He's feeling a little down. 
he doesn't have any uh, MP either. I love how the, like his blade also has like a little glowy effect too. But uh, also his his did we get two or three out of that? His his hits are just a slightly chunky. Uh, slightly chunkier than his normal normal hits. He's at 22 now. Wow. We might jump around for a second. No entry. Yeah. We might jump around for a second. I'm going to go I'm going to go back to Pete's house and check the there's a barrel there. Somebody said I might have missed some some dust there. We're going to check that at Pete's house. I think we've got ample space now for stuff. We used a lot of spells during that during that Lennis fight, which Apparently, didn't realize this, I made it harder on myself by not dragooning. Thank you guys for telling me. I thought, because we faced Lennis before, that when I dragooned, I, I caused her to speed up her, her special attacks. Because she's a wingly, and winglies have a thing against dragoons. But when she was in her dragoon form, she didn't do that. So I kind of handicapped myself a bit. I could have ended that fight a little bit earlier. And you just faced the barrel. We checked that barrel before. But you guys are saying there might be a barrel. Yeah, there's that one. Can't get that one. What about this one? Can't get to that one. Is there one inside? It's fresh water must be... Yeah. What about this thing? No, not that one. All right. So you guys lied to me. You guys lied. All right. And I'm pretty sure we have to go back to uh, Illicit Bay anyway in order for us to... We had to jump on the Queen Fury and get out of here. And I'm assuming... Ooh, what's this? Ouch. All right, this is gonna have something funny about it. Yeah, it's gonna have something funny about it. I haven't seen one of those things before. I'm just gonna throw a statue at it. A ruby ring! What's a ruby ring do? What's a ruby ring do? Ruby ring, when damaged by magic, SP is accumulated. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I guess if you're looking to, if you're looking to level up someone's uh, dragoon levels, that's a good one to have. She has the the angel robe on. I thought we got silver vest for all of them, or something like that. Did I not buy them? A sparkle dress. That's what. Did I not buy a sparkle dress for Shauna? Hmm. Also, question, because I'm pretty sure a spirit ring as well as a sparkle dress both both give back MP. Do those stack? Are those stacking things? For instance, like, do you benefit doubly because I have two items that give back MP? Well, maybe the sparkle dress gives back SP. Let me just double check here. Hey, it's drippy. Let's just double check here. Sorry, sparkle dress. No, it gives back SP. A lot of things give back SP. A lot of things. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't get her one. We bought him that, but I didn't I didn't equip it. Okay. The dragon's dead, but it won't bring back my house or ship. And the dragon was my house and ship were It's really a pity. He's so pitiful that we're gonna buy him a drink. All right, we're gonna head over to the clinic. It's apparently, apparently there is something in the clinic, a painting. Oops, shoot. I never heard of the painter of this painting, but I have seen this somewhere. Nice. Thank you. All right, what do these guys have to say? Anything new? Dart, my ma has gotten so much better. Thanks to you, I got my strength back. My boy is crazy about you. He wants to go on journeys with many beautiful women like you, Dart. <laughs> Ma, don't tell him about that. Pete, that's hard work. What? How? It's because of... Jealousy? Sometimes it's scary. Sometimes it's scary. Sometimes it's scary. Well, I have some girl in my mind. And when I am with her all the time, I feel a very cold gaze on my back. It's like a gaze that chills my spine. Dart, watch your back. What? R Rose! <laughs> I think it's just your imagination, isn't it? Am I wrong? 
Yes, you, you are right. It looks hard to be with women. I'll be a fisherman, Ma. <laughs> That's not bad either. That was cute. I'm glad we did that. Can I buy some Rapsies from that guy? Only because I want to... I want to give our... Meru and... And our boy Kongo here. Sorry. Fragmented sentences, Miles. You gotta stop that. Bye! By three. Cool. Replenish our stock. All right. So yeah, I think we want to head down here. Sounds like the boat's going. Dart! I've heard about you. Yes, successfully defeating the monster on the prison island. And the female bandit. What's wrong? You have a long face. We are ready to go back to Flitz and triumph. We couldn't get the moon dagger back. I lack the ocean. Let yourself flow in the waves and the winds. The problems of this world become not a problem at all. Here is an idea, Dart. Why don't you come with me on the ocean? Dart, you will make a good sailor, or even a great man of the sea. A man of the sea's not bad. What are you talking about? We have to pursue Lloyd now. Yeah, we have something we have to take care of. I understand, but it's a shame. However, I am moved that you are considered being a man of the sea. It's small, but it's my farewell gift to you. Take this. Acquired a hundred. Oh, nice. Thank you, dude. Dart, as soon as you are ready, just come aboard. Meet you on the boats. <laughs> Be ready for departure. All right, I think we're good. Are you ready? Yes. Casting off. Casting ready to cast off. Like getting ready to cast off. Casting ready to cast off. Mm. Back to flits. What's... I'm confused about the door. What happens if I press this button? Hello? Did I break the game? If you want to go back to the world map, talk to me, Commodore Pula. You got it? Oh, I guess if we want to, like, take some time to talk to people? Oh, I thought people were going to be back in their spots. Never mind. I might just, just take a quick gander around. See, when, see if anyone's out and about. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, this doesn't seem like there's anything new here. And none of my friends are out, so... Cool. We'll go back. I do think it's pretty neat, I guess, if you wanted to, like, look around more on the ship. If you hadn't been able to before. But, you like, you don't get any interactions with your... With your friends. Look, Dart. Do you want to sail this boat as practice for becoming a man of the sea? Yes, I want to try. Alright. Replace the sailor over there. But if you are not good... He'll quickly take over for you. That's cool. Alright, so where does this take us? Oh, Da now. No entry. Oh, we can... Oh, we can actually get into, into fights here. Oh, that's cool. Getting pretty strong now with those with those smacks. I will level up again. I'm confused. Hold on a sec. Hold up, just one sec. I don't think he leveled up. I think he got his dragoon. Yeah, D level D level two. So what did he get out of that? Can I see? Probably not, right? So 
So he's now Dragoon level two. That would actually happen a lot faster than than Meru. Oh, but of course, Meru used a lot of spells like out of our out of our inventory last time. So that makes that makes some sense. All right, so I guess we could use the boat if we needed to. The other day, a commercial ship came here, and I found out for the first time that the sea dragon is gone. Yep, we killed it. Finally, we can put the ship to sea. The great sea is calling us. It's a nice day today. It's a good day to take a walk around here. Okay, come on, Jesus lady. Every single time. For the boys in Tiproa, the Queen Fury is a source of admiration and pride. How the, how's the married couple doing? Nothing is impossible when everybody gets together. Friends are important. We cannot live alone. It is important to have friends who can cooperate with each other. Thanks to you, the wedding went fine, and we are spending our days living in peace. The baby that I am going to have is doing fine too. I am so happy that it almost makes me afraid. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if for some reason I thought we were going to get like a f like the ability to actually just uh, sail straight on the flats, but because they are on the water, right? But I guess Dono is the only like port city. Oh, I actually. All right, so I want to try out her. Her ring. Her frost ring or whatever it's called. Freezing ring. Let's do it to this guy. That was cool. Quite a few encounters, actually, this episode. I didn't think we were going to do that much that much fighting, but I did have a ch couple things to check out, so. Perfect! Wow. The Twin Castle of Fletz. All right. Martel. It's hard to find Stardust, isn't it? How about you? There's five. Thanks. Thanks a million. And in return, take this. It's the rare thing I promised you. Poor God, Sash. Thanks in advance for the next time. There is a welcome party for the heroes who saved the country in the Twin Castle tonight. It seems everybody's busy with the preparations. I think everybody will come to the bar to take advantage of this opportunity to honor the heroes who saved the country. I bet it's going to be a busy, busy today. All right. All right. So we got the War God Sash. What does that do? Raises SP 50%. What? You guys will let me know how to use that. <laughs> There's a lot of things that accumulate SP. I I, I guess I could, I could look up, up at a guide, but... Princess Emily is here. Let's go! Albert is in love with Princess Emily. Her graceful steps. Her dainty movement of the hands. Her gracious eyes. She must be. She is our Princess Emily. Princess Emily is back. I have returned after a half year of sleep. My father, King Zior, wouldn't say it, but I heard that the evil doings of the si of the sinner who feigned to be me has harmed our people in Tiberoa. Mm. I can say it is my fault because people were wounded by trusting someone they thought was me. I am determined to make atonements for this, even if it takes forever. It wasn't your fault, your majesty. Please, do not blame yourself, your highness. Your return only makes us happy. I owe you a debt of gratitude. I love this country. I love you people. Let us make this country 
continue to be a wonderful country. Let's make this country continue to be a wonderful country. Uh-oh, second chance. I have a favor to ask you, Princess Emily. May I ask you to name my baby? My soon-to-be-born baby, Your Highness? It would be my pleasure. How about I for a girl and Al for a boy? They have the sound of, of great energy and strength. They are beautiful names. I thank you very much, Your Highness. God bless Princess Emily. God bless Tiberoa Kingdom. All the best for the kingdom and us. Oh, Princess Emily. How beautiful she is. Albert? Just like I imagined. Oh, thank you, Lord, for leading me to this country of Princess Emily. <laughs> is something wrong? Oh, oh. Uh, oh, no? Where is Princess Emily? You can meet her again in the castle. I won't stop you, folks. You can pass freely. To the castle. We have been waiting for you, sir. Please proceed to the Chamber of the Sun. All right. Quick little save. To the Chamber of the Sun. Oh, not that way. Heroes, forget about formality. You are the special guests of the Tiberoa. Welcome back. I'm glad you are safe and sound. My sister is now acting as if nothing happened, but until you come back, King Albert, she had lost her appetite completely. Wait, what? Nothing happened, but until you came back, King Albert, she had lost her appetite completely. It's not only Emily. We were longing for all of you to come back. Well done. But the moon dagger is still in their hands. Stop it. You people brought justice upon the evil bandits. You defeated the sea dragon that infested Elisa Bay. It was you, young people, who brought peace and happiness to Tiberoa and brought smiles back to our people. However, the moon dagger has it has to be wait, 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 wait. however the moon dagger has to be passed on to princess emily the moon dagger is a mere royal tradition tradition alone doesn't put smiles on our people's faces that is all the moon dagger can be king albert we are satisfied with the way things turned out instead of the moon dagger we found something else to hand down her hand in marriage that is the heroic story of you oh man it will be passed down through the ages from person to person. The seven stars arose from the east to save the country of the kingdom who lives in the chamber of the sun. It was my pleasure, your majesty. That's enough for formality. We are having a banquet for you. Please enjoy yourself. Is a banquet a party? Plainly speaking, yes, it is. Cool. It's a party. A party for us. Oh, Meru, behave and be quiet. <laughs> she is cheerful and excited. We still have time before the party. Please, feel free to relax. Let us prepare for the banquet. The banquet. It seems we can relax for the first time in a long time tonight. I think so, too. We have to leave here tomorrow. It is a good chance to relax. Millie says so, the country where Dart was born. He was born in Millie Sesu, wasn't he? We'll be busy again. I'll be walking around till the party starts. Hey, where are you going? I have an errand to do. Are you going too, Rose? Let me go too. You have to appreciate what everyone did. Why don't we go out too? Oh, wow. Oh, Shana dropping, Shana dropping the love bomb. 
I love you, Dart. Since I was little. It never changed. Even when you went on your journey, Dart. Actually, I started to love you even more. Because while you were gone, I was thinking about you every single day. Shauna. So I don't mind being your baby sister because I can be with you every day. That's just how I think. I... I... I, I don't think of you as a baby sister, Shauna. I... I... Let's continue this after our journey is over. Uh, all right? Guess her, you fool! Dart! Welcome back! I forgot how I, I did his voice. What's wrong? You have such a sour face. Y you think so? Anyway, you are famous in the city. The hero who defeated the dragon that descended down, down on Tiberoa. If you say so, it, it still doesn't feel like it's real. It's your modest attitude. You are our time's latest hero. Um. By the way, the party is starting. Get rid of your sour face and be happy. See you later. Oh my god. <laughs> Shauna throwing her hands up. Oh, uh, Mr. Dart, Miss Shauna, why are you here? We are waiting for the party to start. It's starting soon. Please, get everyone or I cannot prepare the dresses. I'll see you later. I'm gonna go look for everybody. Wait! Just the peak is fine. I want to see the party food. We are not going to eat now. We just want to sample the food. <laughs> that is eating. <laughs> uh, Mr. Dart, please stop them. Wars never choose their time. You have to eat whenever you can. That is a basic understanding for a warrior. You want to eat too, don't you, Dart? The party is starting soon. You can eat as much as you want then, right? Is that true? Why didn't you say so? I'm here to tell you that. Come on, let's go. Uncle. Has. Friends. <laughs> friends of. Different species. Not bad. Whoa. Oh, that's funny. I said whoa, and Dart said whoa. Don't do that. That's what I should say. Did you hear Uncle speaking? Not really. By the way, the party is starting. This is where the dresses are. The party is starting. Please find all of your friends as soon as possible. Working on it. Although I should have checked Lisa's, uh, not Lisa's room, but, uh, you know, Emily's room. We still have a permission for realsies? I am a hero. You would laugh at me. <laughs> I laugh now. I did laugh. Since I have st started to wear this choker, I have not laughed for years. <laughs> it was worth the wait. Oh, Rose. Oh, you're here. I'm here to tell you that the party is starting. It'll be a fun party. He's like, wait, he's like, wait a minute. Did you just say fun? Did Rose just say fun? That tough exterior starting to crumble. Why are you running? Knights, maids, ministers, everyone is busy preparing. Darn, we need more people. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is like, maybe Albert's up in... Up in what's your face's room? Knew it! Knew it! Do you know about the legend of the mermaid? Do you know about the legend of counting shoulders? Alright, here's a game for you guys. If you're ever on a date, you can do, hey, do you want to count shoulders? So like say like you're like you're sitting like here and 
the, the person you're trying to trying to woo court is sitting right here you say yeah I, I, I want to count shoulders and you do you go one two you count their shoulder nearest to you and then you bring your arm around them and you go four and then your arms there just a stupid thing I learned in like middle school um yes very sad anyway it go no please tell me about it the king of some country is gazing out over the waves of the sea and thinking his life is hollow and just like the vanishing bubbles everything looked like that because the king didn't know true love under the waves a mermaid was thinking the same things while gazing at the clouds in the sky oh my and what happened to the two of them would you like to know this is a secret story handed down only within the Surtio royal family, so I cannot tell you any more. Oh, I'm sorry, I cannot go on. Oh, you are teasing me. <laughs> but I am having a fabulous time. I don't notice the passing of time when I'm talking with you. Oh, now we're the ones busting in. I knew it, you were here. Is something wrong? The party is starting soon, so I'm calling everybody down. It's already that time. Unfortunately, I have to leave you. When can we meet again? When the stars fill the sky. You can simply say tonight. <laughs> At the party. <laughs> That's everybody. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess we can, we can roll with this party. I realized Hasha was level 22. By the way, she was saying something about dresses, but where should we go? We have to ask Liberia about it. Libria? Libria? All right, so now we're going to go to the dress area. It seems everybody is here. Miss Shana, Miss Rose, and Miss Meru, please come this way. You have to change into the dresses. Dresses? You were talking about us? Yes, I am. Princess Emily and Princess Lisa insist. Good for you. No thanks. It's not like you. Because I'm a dancer, I can't dance well in those dresses. No thanks for me either. I feel naked without my sword. Please wait in the living room. I will come and take you there later. Just do it. Everything is ready. Please proceed to the Chamber of the Sun. This is a banquet to honor the seven heroes who saved Tiberoa. Please enjoy yourselves to the utmost. <laughs> Mr. Dart! Wait for us! Women in red dress. You must be Mr. Dart. I am dying to hear your story. Oh, excuse me, but monopolizing him is not fair. Please, let me hear your story too. I would like to know more about you. Oh my, don't be so fresh with him. I talked to him first. Oh, you must be Mr. Hashel. I'll take care of things here. Why don't you go and enjoy yourself with Shana? At least tonight, you have to make good use of the time the two of you are together. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure Hash was real upset about the taking one for the team here. What did you do to Shana? Do? I didn't do anything. No Shana here. No? Kongle tall. Kongle doesn't see from here. Where is she? Are you enjoying yourself? Are you enjoying yourself? Yup, it's fun. Are you gonna dance too? I'll try. Right on. Where is Shauna? I don't know. Go look for her. She should be waiting for you. Come on, go. That was cute. 
Mishana should be already here. You are the star of the night. You are just serving as a backdrop. <laughs> and I have to go to Millie Sasso with Dart. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you forever. Oh my god. Emily. Well said. The future of Serdio and Tiberoa is shining like the sun. I believe love is the only entity that never changes over time. And distance makes the love grow deeper. Oh my god. I can't watch this anymore. <laughs> What's wrong? You have a long face. If you are looking for Shauna, she is not here. Dresses and starlight are not enough to illuminate a girl. This one word is enough. A kind word from a loved one that makes girls glow. I cannot thank you enough. I am talking with Princess Emily about the difference between being in love and loving. Mr. Dart! Miss Rose needs you. This way. This is so cool! Rose? Dart. Why are you procrastinating like that? Do you want her to catch a cold or something? Making her wait all night like that? She's over there. She's so cute. My eyes are actually welling up. You look beautiful. Yeah, look here. Oh my god. Thank you. But it's all thanks to this dress. That's not true. Look! A falling star! I wonder if my wish will come true. It will. Because I wish for the same thing. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I can't believe I got like a little emotional over that. Do you want to save? Yes, let's go ahead and save. So cute. I love when we take like a step back and like explore the characters a bit more. Oh my gosh, disc three, guys! Platinum Shadow. We were on to disc three. Are we gonna get a cutscene? Wow. Chapter 3, Fate and Soul. There is a smell of blood around this place, but... It's not bad at all. It's been a long time. Have you been here? Um, yeah. Well, I'm very popular. That's why. Congo cross sea first time. Fernie, the water city. And this port is the front door to Melisasso. Anyway, I wonder why Lloyd revealed his destination to us. I still don't know. Whatever he wants, this will be the end of it. I agree. For the sake of the victims so far, it's not only that in order to prevent there being new victims, we have to stop Lloyd. Cool, guys. Cool. What's over here? There should be a shop, right? Oh my god! Alright, well, I'm looking for a save point. 
Let's find us a save point. Oh no. Resident Knight Harris. It seems to be all of us. Now I'll explain the strategy. We have to overcome the white wolf called Cam... Camoy? Camoy? That lives in the evergreen forest between this village and Denigrad. Did you call us for that? Not only that, a boy from the village Teo disappeared in the evergreen forest. The strategy is simple. All of us will beat the bushes all over the evergreen forest. I promise a five... A five times larger prize for the one of you who defeats Kamui. Cam I, I don't know. Kamu Kamui? Kamui? I promise the same for the one who saves Tio. It's gonna be me! It's gonna be me. Uh, I'm itching to do it. Yo, that guy's huge. Have we seen that guy before? Bulgus. Who are you? I've never seen you before. You look like you have a chance, but I'm getting the prize. Don't ever disturb me. Are you scared out of your wits and cannot talk? Cut it out. We have to cooperate, or we cannot overcome Kamui. <clears throat> I'll let you know when we have started. Until then, you have some free time. You are dismissed. Interesting. Interesting. A little bit of... A little bit of, uh... Info going on. Ah, cool. Here's an inn. Here's an inn. This place is real neat. I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to exploring it, which we are going to do in the next episode. As soon as I figure out how to stay here. It was three years ago, Tio brought back an injured wolf cub. That wolf is the Kambui we are talking about. Oh, interesting. Now, we cannot imagine it, but although Kambui is a wolf, it was very affectionate to people. Alright, so... Wrongfully, wrongfully uh, accused of, of of murder, I guess. When they said White Wolf, I thought we were talking about like a person nicknamed the White Wolf. But um, yeah. Well, this was a very very sweet and cute episode. Some more world building, of course. I I, I had a feeling way back when when Albert first heard about Princess Emily that something was gonna happen with them. So that was real cute. The stuff with Dart and Shauna is real cute. I, I like the fact that uh, Dart is now basically just accepting his feelings for Shauna. I think he's kind of feeling, letting his guard down, feeling safe enough to like, you know, express those feelings, which is nice. I thought we were doing a little bit of a love triangle with, uh, actually, a love triangle with, between like multiple people. I say triangle, but uh, only because I can't think of the shit. A love square? <laughs> A love square with Shauna, Rose, and and Meru, but Meru is like young. She's got to be like, what, like fourteen or fifteen? So like, yikes. But yeah, so that's that's been real fun, and I I I'm digging the party that I have right now. Although I think we switched it up towards the end there, uh, just like I just took whoever was the default. But it's been fun, uh, you know, playing around with Coggle, and now that we have Meru's uh, Dragoon Spirits, that's gonna be fun to kind of explore. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to looking around this area, finding some dust, and tracking down Lloyd. And we're in disc 3 now, so that's awesome. So we're past now the halfway point of the game, which is cool. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this one. If you happen to like the episode, hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. Stop by a premiere Sundays at 12 p.m. or noon EST, Eastern Standard Time. But uh, yeah, until next time, guys, go forth the rest of your day, make it a good one, and I will see you guys next episode. Take care. Uh, bye bye. Uh, bye bye.